Believe it or not, one of the easiest things to do when you're designing an exhaust system is make it loud. As a matter of fact, if you want to make it as loud as possible, you just take the exhaust system off altogether. But it's very challenging and very difficult to be loud and good. A great place to start in understanding Borla's polyphonic technology is with the word polyphonic. Poly means many, phonic means sound. So the concept here is to have more than one sound combining together to create harmony. Very similar to playing a chord on a guitar or on a piano or an organ. When you see multiple pipes in our exhaust system, three, four, five, six pipes in combination together of varying lengths and diameters, you should know that those were not picked arbitrarily or even through trial and error. We're using science that's actually been around for thousands of years in pipe organs. Borla's polyphonic harmonizer is actually based off centuries-old pipe organ technology. And the way a pipe organ achieves different notes is by varying the diameter and length of the pipes. But the diameters and lengths of these pipes are not just chosen arbitrarily. You can't just play any random notes together. Particular notes sound better together than others, and musicians spend their lives learning how to maximize the combination of these notes to create different sounds and elicit different emotions. And we can do the same thing with an exhaust system. So if we take the root of any given key, if you remember the old song, Do, Re, Mi, and you take Do, which is the root, in this case we'll say C, the root is a C. I can add notes on top of that that are either going to sound good or they're going to be dissonant or they're not going to sound good. Now if we take a perfect fifth, which is a really obvious note to play, and I add that on top of the root, you get a harmony that's very common and we've all heard it a lot and it's very familiar to us. I can add a note that is not a perfect fifth or not the right note to add and it's gonna sound dissonant like this. And remember, those notes are all based off of diameters and lengths of pipe. So we can take diameters and lengths of pipe and create different notes and combine them to create harmony. It's important to understand that we're not gonna make your car or truck sound like an organ or a guitar or a musical instrument for that matter. The idea here is, is that the relationship between the pipes is really what's important. So as we go through this exhaust development and we're experimenting with different diameters and different lengths, we're constantly thinking about what vehicle we're working on because these applications are specific to one vehicle and one vehicle only. A certain vehicle may call for a note that's a little higher in pitch or a little lower in pitch, or perhaps a different owner is looking for something that's a little higher in pitch or a little lower in pitch, a little louder here, not quite as loud there. Different parts of the RPM range where they drive, they're looking for different notes. So this allows us to really dial it in to that level. We want to be able to refine the note to the greatest degree possible. We don't want to just be loud for loud sake or just start using straight pipes to be as obnoxious as possible. We want to refine that note. We want to bring out the stuff everybody really likes and what you're looking for. And when you start thinking about the fact that we offer different sound levels, we can offer three, four, five different solutions for three, four, five different types of owners. So this is really all about you, and this is all about what you're looking for and how you want to sound. Most importantly, it's going to sound different, it's going to sound unique, something you've never heard before. Yeah.